Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My room was an absolute disaster behind me, so please ignore it. Because it's just, it's a hot mess. It's, it's a hot mess. I also have a giant pimple on my forehead. Hopefully you can't see it. I just like really put some heavy, heavy layers of uh, concealer on it. So hopefully you can't see it. Today's video is going to be an empties video. It is, I kind of got a lot of stuff. Just to be, just to be honest. So uh, get ready because I have a lot of stuff for you guys. It is a giant Sephora bag full of empties. So let's go ahead and uh, open it up and I'll show you guys what's in it. Dang it. I'm out of makeup remover wipes and I just realized that and I need to take this makeup off tonight. Crap. All right, so let's get into it. So the very, very first thing, this is not gonna be going in any particular order. Everything's just shoved in here. So the very first thing is the Equate Beauty Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelette. And this is just in like, um, what's it called? The refillable container. So I think I'm gonna keep this container so that way I can put like the other ones in it. Even though I never, ever, ever like actually pull them through this because they dry out so fast that way, I literally just put them in here. So I really don't need that, but I don't know, I may keep it. I don't know, we'll see. But that is the first thing. Um, these are some of my favorite makeup remover wipes. I've used these forever though, like forever, forever. And I feel like I'm at that stage now where I really need to get some different wipes because these are no longer working as well as what they used to. I don't know if my skin just has gotten really, really used to them, even though I feel like I feel like it, my, it they shouldn't have gotten used to them and that, you, that I use them just to take off my makeup. But I don't know. Or they change the formulation and so they dry out quicker and they're not as good. I don't know because it does take at least two wipes to get all of my foundation off on my face and then I go in with my Clarisonic and there's still foundation on my face. So, I don't know. They're not as good as what they used to be. So I don't know. I'm on the hunt for like a really good wipe that is just like this, that feels just like it, but it actually gets all my makeup off using one. Um, okay, and then I have a little mini of the Freeze It Mega Freeze Extreme Hold Hairspray. This little guy. I don't really like the extreme hold. I like the flexible hold. We had a special guest. I'm sorry for that um, intercession. Is that the word? Is that intercession? That's the word, right? In like movies where, like when you're at the movie theater and they have like a little break. I don't know. It's something like that. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. We had a little break because my mom came in the room. Okay, but moving on. So I do see two soaps. So these will be kind of in order so even though I feel like I went through more soaps than that maybe I'm wrong so the first one is the beautiful day gentle foaming soap by Bath and Body Works amazing it's fantastic these soaps are so great like the packaging of these soaps are so great because even like if I've used all of the packaging from it you can actually put other soap in this and it still will foam up like it'll still be foamy and so you use less soap if that makes any sense hopefully that made sense I feel like that probably didn't um, and then the other one is the a thousand wishes deep cleansing hand soap by Bath and Body Works which I didn't like this one as much this one had like a little exfoliating beads in it which I don't know I'm not saying that I don't like that but I don't like it there are fuzzies everywhere Literally everywhere. I hope you can't see them, but you probably can. I really hope you can't, though. Um, but it had, like, little microbeads in it, and so they literally exfoliated your hands every single time you wash your hands. It literally just, like, I don't know, your hands start to pill because they're, like, so exfoliated that it starts to, like, dry them out. It's weird. I don't, I don't like, I don't like that one. It, like, no. It, ex like, exfoliates too much too much whenever you're so like you're washing hands that much all right and then the next one is the tresemme what is this called the climate protection gold for gold the client protect whoa client why are words hard the climate protection hold for all hair types hairspray by tresemme this one wasn't terrible wasn't my favorite but it's not bad 
All right, and then I am seeing multiple things of dry shampoo. I feel like I went through another one of these though too. I went through one of the Batiste um, dry shampoo in the tropical scent, which I really, really like the smell. Like this one smells really good. I like it. And then I went through two of the Batiste dry shampoo plus in Brilliant Blonde. This has a little bit of a color to it, um, which I really like because I don't technically use this for like dry shampoo, like to actually use it to like get the oil and stuff. I mean, it does that, but what I use this for the most is um, whenever my roots are kind of bad, which they're kind of bad right now. I probably need to get a new, another bottle of this because I, I am out now. Um, when my roots are bad, I'll just like spray my roots down with it um, so that you can't tell that my roots are bad. How smart is that? And it's like five bucks. So I mean, I literally just spray it and then my roots don't look as dark. So I really, really like this stuff for that. I went through two face masks, which I didn't use this one. This is the, um, both of them are the Sephora brand, but the first one is the Orchard Face Max for anti-aging and smoothing. This is the one that my mom used. And then I used the Sephora Rose Face Mask in Ultra Moisturizing and Brightening. And then I went through, I guess just one of these. I went through the LA Tan Sunless Mousse in Medium slash Dark. I really like this a lot. I guess I, I haven't even been mentioning if I like repurchased this stuff. Um, I will repurchase these because these are amazing. I love these. I've used them so many times. I'm going to repurchase another one of these because I do really like it for kiting my roots. And then I'll probably go ahead and purchase one of these because this is a really, really good dry shampoo um, that's cheap. So I'll probably go ahead and purchase one of those as well. I love the Bath & Body Works soaps. Just didn't like this exfoliating one. So I won't purchase the exfoliating one, but the normal ones I'll purchase. And then um, I'm not going to buy this hairspray just because it's the extreme hold. And I don't like the extreme hold, but I will get the flexible hold. I haven't decided if I'm going to get another one of these. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. And then I probably won't get this just because it wasn't my favorite. So I'm like, eh. But I have already repurchased this uh, a thousand, hundred times. So I do really, really like this. I'm going to do a full review on this one at some point. At some point, I will do a full review on it because it's turned into one of my favorites. Okay, and I do have another soap. This is um, the Sparkling Berry Sorbet from Bath & Body Works, and this is also a gentle foaming one. This one smells really, really good as well. All right, and then I have two of the All May Eye Makeup Remover Pads in the Longwear and Waterproof. These are some of my favorite um, makeup removers for my mascara and like for my liner and stuff like that because I do wear a lot of waterproof products around my eyes. These are some of my favorite to get them off. Like it doesn't take a whole lot of work. You literally just like kind of wipe them away and it comes right off even though it's completely waterproof. The next thing is um, the Secret Clinical Strength Clear Gel Ooh La La Lavender Deodorant. It just looks like this. Um, this is my favorite deodorant of all time. It smells so good and it like doesn't make me sweat or anything like that. So I do really, really like this. Unfortunately, I feel like I've been using it so long that it's starting not to work as well on me. I don't know. I feel like um, there comes a point in time where you do have to change up your routine a little bit just because I've been using this for years, like years and years and years and years and years and years and years, like probably for like 10 years. <laughs> and, um... I don't know. I feel like I probably need to switch it up because I'm feeling like this isn't working as well as what it used to work. All right. And then I have the Aribe, O-R-I-B-E. I don't know how you say that. This is the Dry Texturizing Spray. I believe this came in like a birch box or something forever ago. Maybe not. I don't even remember what this came in. But um, I know this is like a pretty expensive like hair brand. And I just was not the biggest fan of it. So... I definitely won't be repurchasing that because I really didn't like it. Um, and I probably, I've, I've already repurchased this and like, because I have one now and then I went ahead and bought another one so that way I had like a backup whenever I like um, run out of that one. Because I just hate not having deodorant. Like I hate like running out of it and then not having it. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I'll, I, I don't know if I'll repurchase that after this one. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. 
And then I went through the ACT Anti-Cavity Fluoride Mouthwash. And then I have a mini of the um, Serious Clinical Strike Ooh La La Lavender Deodorant. Just the mini one. That way I could keep it in my like, purse and stuff. And then I have one of the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. This is my favorite leave-in, like, heat taming spray. Um, so I definitely will repurchase this. Right now I'm using one from Sally's. I can't remember the name, but it smells amazing. Um, and then I went through, oh my goodness, everything's fallen. I went through a full size and then a mini size of the Living Proof Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo of all time, but it's like expensive for a dry shampoo. I think it's like 22 bucks for the full size. Um, and then I think the sample size is $12, which I like to use the sample size whenever like I'm traveling or whatever, like going to TJ's and stuff. Um, so that way I don't have much as much stuff. But um, yeah, it is expensive, but it does, it works so freaking well. Um, so, ah! hold on. So I will usually use this whenever I am like going to be doing something or going to work. Um, I'll use this because it adds like a lot of volume and then it also gets rid of that greasiness and that oiliness in your hair. Sorry my hair itches. So yeah, I don't use this whenever I'm just like sitting around the house chilling but yet my hair is oily. Um, I will just use like one of the, one of the Batiste ones. Um, so yeah. I've dropped everything. This is a nightmare. Two more dry shampoos. I went through a lot of dry shampoos since the last time I did a uh, empties video. Okay, so I went through the Batiste dry shampoo in neon. This is my favorite scent by Batiste. This is so, so, so good. And I'm definitely 100% going to purchase this one and keep purchasing this one because the smell is so amazing. It's my favorite. The neon one is my favorite smell out of all of them, and I've tried them all. Um, except for the light one. The light one, I've tried the light one, but that light one is pretty good. Like that one's a close second because it's like so very like light and fresh smelling. This is like the little mini Batiste dry shampoo in blush. And yeah, so I do really like the Batiste one. I will say the Living Proof one is better, um, but it is almost like $15 more. So, but yeah, the Neon, if you're looking for like a cheap dry shampoo, check out the Batiste Neon because that one smells amazing. I'm actually going to put it to the side so I can take a picture of it and remind myself to uh, buy another one. And then um, this one actually I haven't finished. It's like halfway full but I just don't like it anymore. Um, this is the Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. I don't know. This just completely stopped working for my skin and I feel like it was clogging my pores as well like it just all of a sudden it just I don't know I just felt like it was clogging my pores and so I didn't really like it and so I'm just going to throw it away because I'm never gonna use it there's like there's still about like probably not half like a little bit less than half but there's still a good amount in there I may give it to somebody else if somebody wants it but I just don't like it at all like I used to really really like it and then one day I just like I don't know I had these pores all over my face and I'm like what is causing this and I hadn't changed my routine or anything and so I don't know I'm like 99.9% .9 positive though this is clogging my pores because it only happened whenever I used this product so pretty sure it was clogging my pores okay so then I have a little sample size of the Clinique take the day off um, makeup remover for lids lashes and lips um, this isn't bad. It's pretty good. Um, it's not my favorite. I like the Take the Day Off Balm by Clinique better than this one, but it's not bad. It's not bad if you like like a liquid one that you have to use pads with. And um, I have the Equate Original Clean Cleansing Cloths. Um, these are the same ones as last time, and I don't know. Again, I haven't decided if I want to repurchase that or not. I may see if I can find something else. So my grandma just called, so I hope the lighting's not off, even though I feel like it is a little bit off. Hopefully it's not off too much. Um, okay, but my last two skincare products. The first one is the Belief, Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is just like a little sample size that I tried. Fell in love with it. Bought the full size, and I've used this up too. It is amazing. 
The only complaint I have about this product is this product is pretty heavy, like the packaging is pretty heavy, and so you feel like you're getting a lot. You're not. You're not getting a lot. Like, you're really not at all because this is not as deep as what it looks, and there's literally nothing on the sides of this. Like, it's literally just like a, like, I don't know. There's not, nothing on these sides right here. Like, it makes it look like, you know, there's product all up in it. Nope. You're not getting a ton, and I believe it's $38 for the full size. But I 100% think it's worth it just because it's so good and it adds so much hydration to my skin. I'm just kind of upset with their little uh, trickiness about the bottle. Like the packaging, that kind of sucks. All right, the so next thing I have is just a little sample of the Naked Ur the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. I did not like this. It really did not do a whole lot for me. So I didn't like it and I won't purchase it. All right, then the next one is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. This is one of my favorite face primers. If you need something that's on a little bit, a, on a budget, I would definitely check this out. This is $6, and it's really, really good. It's very, very similar to the Smashbox Photo Finish, the original one. All right, and then I went through a little sample size of the Goof Proof Brow Pen sold by Benefit in the color 3. I've already repurchased this. The stuff is amazing. All right, and then I have a mascara, and this is the Colorful Girl Total Tease Mascara, and it's waterproof, and then it's black. Didn't like this mascara. I thought it was terrible. I did not like it whatsoever. It has the plastic bristles and not um, the other bristles. Um, so I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I personally didn't like it at all. Okay. And then um, the next thing is the Purely BB Tinted Moist Cream in the shade Medium. I really, really do like this a lot. I don't like the light. I've told you guys that before. I don't like the, the light color. I only like the medium. For some reason, I feel like the light has a little bit of a different formulation because I feel like they're two different products. Because I like this one and I hate the light one. So yeah, so I'll definitely probably repurchase this one as well because it's a really good one. Oh, I missed a skincare item. So this is the Brazilian Bum Gum Cream. I'm sure you guys have seen this and heard, this, heard about this on Sephora. It's amazing. It's really, really good. It smells so freaking good. It smells amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. All right. And then the next thing is a foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 220. I got it, it, I got it in a little sample size. Loved it so much. I went out and bought um, the exact same color. And then I also actually bought two more colors as well. Because I loved it so much. And then I have two products left. The first one is the Kat Von D Saint Perfume. That's a little sampler. It's so good. It's amazing. I have already bought the full size because it's so good. And then the very last thing, last but not least, I also have the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser by Maybelline. This stuff is amazing. It's one of my favorite concealers. I love it. If you haven't tried it, Go try it because it's so, 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 so good. All right. But that is it for this empties video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And do not forget to enter my giveaway. I will link that down in the description box down below. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.